Welcome to our channel. Today we're diving into the wildest Greek mythology tales that make any soap opera look tame. Buckle up for some divine drama. We're talking gods, monsters, and mortals caught in a whirlwind of love, betrayal, and epic battles. These stories have it all forbidden romance, power struggles, and enough plot twists to make your head spin. Imagine a family so dysfunctional, their arguments shake the very foundations of the universe. This isn't just any family, it's the Titans, the primordial beings of Greek mythology. That's the Titans for you. Their story is one of betrayal, power struggles, and epic battles that have shaped the cosmos. Uranus, the sky god, locks his children away in Tartarus, a deep abyss used as a dungeon of torment and suffering. Gaia, his wife, isn't thrilled with this cruel act. She calls upon her son Cronus to overthrow Uranus and put an end to his tyranny. Cronus, driven by his mother's plea and his own ambition, castrates Uranus and seizes control of the universe, marking the end of Uranus's reign. But power corrupts. Cronus, now the king of the Titans, fears that his own children will overthrow him, just as he did his father. His solution? Swallow each of them whole as soon as they are born. This gruesome act of devouring his offspring is his way of preventing any future rebellion. Rhea, Cronus's wife, cannot bear to lose all her children. She saves their youngest Zeus by tricking Cronus with a stone wrapped in swaddling clothes. Zeus grows up in secret, nurtured by his mother. When he reaches adulthood, he confronts Cronus, forcing him to disgorge his siblings who have been trapped inside him. This isn't just a squabble between grumpy gods. It's a battle for the ages, a clash that will determine the future of the universe. The earth trembles, the skies crackle with lightning, and the very fabric of reality seems to be at stake as the two forces collide. After a decade of relentless warfare, Zeus and his siblings emerge victorious, having defeated the Titans and secured their place as the new rulers of the cosmos. The defeated Titans are imprisoned in Tartarus, the same dark abyss where Uranus once confined his children. Zeus, now the supreme ruler, divides the universe with his brothers, Poseidon and Hades. Zeus takes the sky, Poseidon the sea, and Hades the underworld. Thus begins the reign of the Olympian gods, a new era marked by their rule from the majestic heights of Mount Olympus. Zeus must now balance order and chaos, old and new, ensuring that the universe remains in a delicate equilibrium. And so the stage is set for the epic tales to come, stories of heroism, adventure, and the eternal struggle between good and evil. Let's move on to the tragic tale of Echo and Narcissus, a story that has been told for centuries and still resonates with us today. Narcissus, a beautiful youth, falls in love with his own reflection, captivated by his own beauty. He spends hours gazing at his reflection, oblivious to the world around him, entranced by the image he sees in the water. Echo, a nymph cursed to only repeat the last words spoken to her, falls deeply in love with him, despite her tragic fate, Echo. But when I saw Narcissus, I was smitten. His beauty was unlike anything I had ever seen. Narcissus, however, rejects her love, unable to see beyond his own reflection. Echo, heartbroken, wastes away until only her voice remains, haunting the forests. Nemesis, the goddess of revenge, sees Narcissus's vanity and decides to teach him a lesson. She leads him to a pool where he falls in love with his reflection once more. Consumed by his own image, Narcissus wastes away, unable to tear himself away from the pool and eventually transforms into the flower that bears his name, forever a symbol of self-obsession. The moral, love yourself, but not too much. Self-love is important, but it should never blind you to the world and people around you. Echo, my love forever unrequited echoes through time. Her voice, a reminder of the pain of unreturned affection. A tragic end for both, a lesson in vanity and unrequited love. Their story serves as a timeless reminder of the dangers of excessive self-love and the sorrow of unreciprocated feelings. Now let's talk about Apollo, the god of music, poetry, and apparently grand theft auto. Apollo, known for his many talents, was not just a god of the arts, but also had a knack for adventure and mischief. One day, Apollo, feeling particularly bored and seeking some excitement, decides to commandeer a Cretan ship. Transforming into a playful dolphin, Apollo puts on an enchanting show for the unsuspecting sailors, leaping and diving with grace. 
The sailors, charmed and mesmerized by the dolphin's antics, had no idea they were entertaining a god in disguise. With a sudden flick of his powerful tail, Apollo capsizes the ship, sending the bewildered sailors plunging into the water, their cries echoing across the sea. Apollo then guides the ship, now under his control, to Delphi, his sacred city, and a place of great significance in Greek mythology. Delphi, known for its oracle and temple, was the perfect destination for Apollo's divine plan. The sailors, trembling and drenched, expected the worst as they stood before the god. But Apollo, with a benevolent smile, offers them a surprising proposition to become his priests and serve him in Delphi. Grateful for their lives being spared, the sailors accept Apollo's offer. They dedicate themselves to spreading his word and serving in his temple, becoming loyal followers of the god. And that's how Apollo, the multifaceted deity, added patron saint of pirates to his impressive resume. Talk about divine multitasking and the unexpected ways gods can influence the mortal world. Perseus and Medusa, the original Gorgon Slayer. Perseus, son of Zeus, takes on Medusa, the Gorgon with a deadly gaze. Armed with winged sandals, a mirrored shield, and an enchanted sword, Perseus sets out. He uses the shield to see Medusa's reflection and avoid her gaze. With lightning reflexes, Perseus decapitates Medusa. From her blood springs Pegasus and Chryseor. Perseus, a gruesome souvenir, but useful. He uses Medusa's head to defeat his enemies and rescue Andromeda. Perseus, a hero triumphant, with Medusa's head as a trophy. It's a story of courage, ingenuity, and the right accessories. Perseus, the original Gorgon Slayer, forever remembered. A tale of bravery and divine intervention. Perseus, and a reminder to always be prepared. Lycurgus's wine-free frenzy, don't mess with Dionysus. Lycurgus, king of Thrace, bans Dionysus's worship. Dionysus drives the people mad with divine intoxication. Lycurgus, driven mad, attacks his own family. Some say he mistook his son for a vine, others say he cut off his own foot. Lycurgus, a raving lunatic, meeting a gruesome end, a cautionary tale about denying pleasure and crossing a god. Lycurgus, a reminder of the importance of balance. Enjoy life's pleasures in moderation, or risk the wrath of the gods. Persephone and the Underworld, a custody battle for the ages. Hades abducts Persephone, plunging the world into an eternal cycle of seasons. Demeter, her mother, searches tirelessly, causing the land to wither. Persephone, a queen in mourning, yearning for the sun. Hades offers her pomegranate seeds, binding her to the underworld. Zeus intervenes, striking a deal. Persephone splits her time between the underworld and her mother. Persephone, my journey dictates the rhythm of the year. Spring and summer with Demeter, autumn and winter with Hades. Persephone, a bittersweet cycle of love and loss. A story of a mother's unwavering devotion. Persephone and the enduring bond between mother and daughter. A tale of love, loss and the changing seasons. The Odyssey, a long and winding road home. Odysseus's journey home takes 10 years, testing his wit and endurance. Shipwrecked on Calypso's island, escaping the Cyclops Polyphemus and resisting the sirens. Odysseus, a test of cunning and resilience. He journeys to the underworld, faces Scylla and Charybdis and finally returns to Ithaca. Odysseus, home but not without trials. His palace overrun with suitors, Odysseus reclaims his throne. Odysseus, using cunning and archery skills. The Odyssey is a testament to the human spirit's resilience. Odysseus. The journey home is always worth fighting for. A story of love, loyalty and never giving up hope. Odysseus, a hero's journey, forever remembered. Pygmalion and Galatea, when art imitates life. Pygmalion, a sculptor, falls in love with his own creation. He creates Galatea, an ivory statue, and prays to Aphrodite. Pygmalion, my ideal woman, surpassing any living maiden. Aphrodite grants his wish, bringing Galatea to life. Pygmalion, overjoyed, embracing his creation. They marry with Aphrodite's blessing. Galatea, experiencing the joys and sorrows of being human. A story of love and artistry. Pygmalion and the power of devotion. The Amazons, warriors of the ancient world, a tribe of fierce female warriors who challenged the notion of womanhood, skilled horsewomen, archers, and masters of warfare. Amazons living in a society where strength and skill were revered. Their origins are shrouded in myth, but recent discoveries suggest they might be real. Amazons are testament to the strength and resilience of women. Excavations reveal women buried with weapons bearing marks of battle. 
Amazons challenging conventional gender roles. Whether myth or reality, they captivate our imaginations. Amazons reminding us that the spirit of a warrior knows no gender. Stories of women can be just as thrilling and empowering. Amazons, forever remembered as warriors of the ancient world. So there you have it, a glimpse into the wild, wonderful, and often downright bizarre world of Greek mythology. From epic battles and divine interventions to tales of love, loss, and monstrous creatures, these stories continue to captivate us centuries after they were first told. What's your favorite mythological drama? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more wild tales from ancient times. See you soon.